Now that you have an understanding of why you can't just stay at the idea phase, but you got to turn into the vision phase, I want to tell you a little bit about vision. The late, great Dr. Miles Monroe used to say this all the time, and it totally boggled my mind the first time he said it. He said that sight is a function of the eyes, but vision is a function of the heart. You see, vision gets you this opportunity to take yourself outside of your current reality to see a greater reality and a greater and a bigger picture of where you should be. And so I want to talk to you about the process that I went through to turn my ideas into a vision. So the first thing that you very much need in order to turn an idea into a vision is a process. That's right, a process. A process is the how to. It's literally teaching you how to take your idea and turn it into the necessary things that it needs to be turned into. So whether it's a book, whether it's a business, it's the how to do those different things. Now I need to tell you this, that there's a process for everything. Nobody just jumps out of bed and becomes a multimillionaire overnight. No, it is a process. Nobody just jumps out of bed and just becomes a best-selling author overnight. No, there is a process that is involved in you actually turning your idea into a vision. And so this process takes a few things. Number one, it takes research. You got to do your research. You got to do your homework. You got to see what it takes in order for you to start that business, in order for you to write that book, in order for you to do the things that are necessary in order to translate that idea into a vision. You got to do some research, some great research tools. There's one that is absolutely amazing. It is my number one tool that I go to every single time I have a question and you know, that 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 industry is called Google. That's right. It's Google. Google it. Find out what you need to do. Research it. Go to the library. Do what you have to do, but research at the level of your ability to find out exactly what you need to do in order to start that process that you need. Number two, the thing that you need within the process is a mentor. Yeah, that's right. You need to find somebody who's already doing what you want to do, already doing, already an industry leader in your particular field, already a person that's really bringing in buku money, that's literally telling people that they need to do this, that, and the other. It's the, the mentors that really allow us to really get through some of the inconsistencies that we may have on the front end. It's also the mentors that can lead us through the trouble spots that they've already went through. And that's the reason for this message right here. That's the reason for this particular video is because I'm showing you exactly what I did in order to turn my idea into a vision. So the first thing that you need is a process. What is the right process for you to actually get your idea out there into a vision by research and then mentorship. Now let me tell you this on mentorship. Mentorship is very, very key. I need you to understand something. Many times the mentorship will cost you money. That's right. It's going to cost you because that mentor has been through some things that you don't have to walk through. They've already done it. So please reward them by giving them the money that's necessary in order for you to extract and really just buy their time because it's really not the idea. It's really not the, the method methodology that you're getting it's really you're buying their time you're making sure that you have exclusive rights to their attention during this time so make sure that you got your mentorship now let me tell you this on mentorship be sure to thank them by implementing everything that they tell you to do. That's what I had to do. Had a mentor within a uh, business and I literally implemented every single solitary thing that this mentor told me to do. And literally I was successful. Why? Because he's not going to teach me anything. He doesn't have time to teach me the wrong way. He can only teach me in the way that he knows. And that's why you have to understand that the first way to get your idea into vision is a process. Find the mentor, do the research. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about on the next video in the next video.